Today we're going to look at how to let go of sentimental items. Hello, my name's Rachel and if you don't know me already, I do videos all about decluttering, minimalism and my no-spend year. And today we're going to look at how to let go of sentimental items. So a little bit more of a trickier area to be dealing with, but hopefully if you've already started decluttering on some of the easier areas, it will mean that if you get to this point, you are now a little bit more ready to get going with sentimental items. So today I have got 10 tips to help you let go of these items and we're going to run through them now and see how that makes you feel when you're thinking about your sentimental items in your home. So first of all, you need to decide, because everybody's going to be different, what are sentimental items to you. So for some people it might be heirlooms, it could be items given from family members, it could be gifts, it could be jewellery, it could be valuables. You need to decide what they are because some people value sentimental items such as children's artwork or children's school books. So everybody has a different kind of idea in their head of what sentimental items are and this will vary per person. So it's important that you know what is sentimental to you and categorise them as that because we treat those things slightly different than we would everyday items. So now that we know what our sentimental items are, we still need to think about how we're going to sort and categorise them. So to make it easier, we're going to have a pile that is for keep, for donate, for selling and for um, recycling or putting in the rubbish bin which sounds quite harsh, but you need to have those four categories to be able to sort them properly. The next thing you need to do is set some time aside for this. It may be that you need a bigger chunk of time to do this because you might know that you're going to get that little bit more emotional, a little bit more time to kind of think through each item. So that you need to allocate some time that is really going to be valuable for this project, for these items. And to kind of tie in with that, you may find it helpful to have a friend or family member with you to go through those items, or you may prefer to do it on your own. You need to decide what's going to work best for you. If you've tried on your own already and you found that too much, maybe having a family friend or family member there might help with the process so that they can be a bit more rational with you and help you kind of see things from a different point of view. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to ask questions. The first kind of most important one, does it make you happy? If it's a sentimental item and it makes you happy when you have it in your hand or when you look at it, absolutely keep it. Those are valuable, those are important and they are giving you joy. So they absolutely should be kept. And I'm not here to tell you that you need to get rid of all your sentimental items. I absolutely want you to keep items that you really cherish and really love. So think about whether or not it makes you feel good when you have that item because that's really important. If it's an item that actually you don't have an emotion about, it doesn't really make you happy, then that is an item that you can consider letting go of. And kind of tying in with that, does it give you a memory that makes you think of somebody or something or a time or a place? So if it gives you that feeling of happiness and that memory associated with it, then absolutely that is something that you should cherish and enjoy. Another question to ask yourself is would you buy it again? So if you saw that item in a shop and you didn't have one, would you buy that item? Does it mean something to you to have that item? Do you use it? Does it serve a purpose? So there are a couple of questions there that can really help you to decide whether or not it's valuable to you. So would you buy it again? Is it something that makes you happy? Does it give you some good memories? And if it doesn't meet any of those criteria for any particular reason, that might be an item that you can consider letting go of. The next tip is to share heirlooms with other family members. So it might be that you've inherited lots of items from a family member passing away and you don't want necessarily all of the items and there might be some other people within the family that would quite like a couple of those things for their own memory, for their own sentimental reasons. So it's worth asking if anybody else in your family is particularly keen on having those items because then it kind of reduces the number of items that you might have connected to one particular person or one kind of period of time in your life. So share those around and see if anybody else would get some joy out of it. 
The next tip is to reduce the number of duplicates that you might have. This is particularly relevant to photographs. I think, especially if you're thinking about older photographs where you had the uh, film cameras and quite often you would take a couple of photos of exactly the same thing in the hope that one of them turned out okay. And you end up having about three different pictures but only one of them is going to the rest of blurry. So go through and kind of just take out any of those duplicates. Choose the best one like for a particular event, choose the best couple of pictures that really kind of sum up the event and maybe um, reduce the number that you have and get rid of any that are not so good quality, that don't really show anything different to the other photos so that you're not having lots of the same and it will just help you reduce down the numbers because if you think about the number of photos that we take nowadays, which is hundreds and thousands um, within a day, within a month, etc. So we need to kind of choose the best out of what we have. And this could go for other things as well, not particularly just photos. It could be that you have lots of old birthday cards, for example. Or is there a particular one that really has a sentimental message? That one could be kept and maybe the others don't have those sentimental messages and they don't need to be kept. My next tip is if you can't decide on something straight away, just kind of park it. Decide on it at another point. You could decide to just leave that item for another three months and then come back to it. There is no need to get rid of any items urgently, especially when you're talking about sentimental items. It's a much more thorough process. So if at this point in time you cannot decide on this item, leave it and come back to it in a few months and then you might be able to kind of reassess your emotions connected to it because it might be that you were quite hesitant but you weren't like confirming that you definitely wanted to keep it or definitely wanted to get rid of it so if you're not sure leave that item and come back to it and you might be able to come back to it with a fresh pair of eyes fresh pair of thoughts and it might make it easier to make that decision so don't be afraid to leave items and come back to them my next tip is to digitize items so it could be that you've got a particularly um large item that is kind of not really something that you can use or enjoy but you'd really like to remember it you could take photographs and store photographs digitally of the items that you have so that you don't have to keep the physical items and it could be that you digitize photos as well so you don't have to keep the paper copies i know everybody's very different with photos anyway and some people like the old photos i'm very much the same i quite like an old photo but it could make it easier to be able to share them so that others can enjoy them if you've got a digital copy anyway. So try and digitise items that you can so that you can be able to refer back to them at any point. My next tip is to only keep items that really bring you joy. Which of those items that you have really make you feel good? Are they ones that really kind of make you feel good and you feel really proud to have? Is there a way that you can display those items so that you're really getting that daily enjoyment out of it? Sometimes there are certain things that you want to keep but you want to put away and be able to access when you choose. It's really nice if you can share some of those really sentimental things around your home. Your home is really personal to you so there's no issue with you being able to share your personal sentimental items on display because it's for your enjoyment your home and that's an opportunity to really get the most out of those sentimental items then think that you'll kind of think well I wouldn't really want to display it or I wouldn't want to be able to refer to it again that may be an item that you consider letting go of my final thought to sum up sentimental items is that you're getting rid of the item not the memory so even though you may have let go of the item that you have connected to somebody you will still have that memory that feeling that kind of emotion connected to that item without physically having the item it is possible to kind of be able to refer to it to be able to have that memory stored that you can access any time that you choose so remember that you're not getting rid of those memories they will still be there hopefully you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe down below if you did and give it a thumbs up and I'll be back for more videos on decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. If you found any of these tips helpful, let me know down below which ones that you have tried or have particularly helped you to think through the thought process of decluttering those sentimental items. I'd love to know how you're getting on.
and I shall see you soon for more videos. Take care, bye.